DTE is shutting down a gas main right near the site of a ground shift and a building collapse in southwest Detroit. DTE says that it wants to avoid a potential public safety issue with the gas pipe on Dearborn Street. Service will be out to six businesses in the area while DTE installs a temporary bypass. That will impact the Great Lakes Water Authority plant. It's the one on Jefferson. And the city thinks there will be more odors coming from the plant, so a heads up there. Investigators continue to look into what went wrong and if any other businesses or buildings in the area are safe. An open house in Town Hall is being held tonight over the gas leak in Flat Rock. The open house starts at 4 and the Town Hall is at 6 at Flat Rock Community High School. The city says screenings show the gasoline has been cleared from sanitary sewers and Ford has taken responsibility for the leak. They're also sending $500 checks to people that are in the evacuation zones. The city thinks it still could be weeks before people are allowed back into their homes. The Detroit branch of the NAACP has announced new details about the 66th annual Fight for Freedom Fund dinner. U.S. Secretary of Housing and Urban Development Marcia Fudge is going to be the keynote speaker for the event. It happens on October 3rd over at the TCF Center. There will be COVID protocols in place. Several awards will also be given out during the event. The theme for this year's dinner is don't rest on your freedom. This is a most important event and of course it is Detroit's own. We take pride in it and we look forward to October 3rd as we know that we cannot rest on our freedom. We look forward to seeing you there. It's definitely an event that you want to attend. A limited number of tickets are available. Just go through the Detroit NAACP's website.